Good morning students today here i am going to discuss chapter number 4 the motion of the earth uh, we have discussed a b and c part earlier in the previous video here we are going to discuss t and e part with value based question also so i hope you all are ready so everyone please open your book and notebook and listen carefully this is a b and c part we have done now come to t part d part answer the following questions in brief so question number 1 is what is rotation how much time does earth take in completing one rotation and the answer is the earth is continuously spinning on its imaginary axis from west to east so this motion of the earth is called rotation it completes one rotation in about 24 hours this question contain two questions so first is what is rotation and second is how much time does earth take in completing one rotation so it takes 24 hours now come to second question that is t2 what is meant by the revolution of the earth the earth revolves around the sun in a fixed path called orbit in 365 days and 6 hours so this motion of the earth is called revolution now come to next page question number 3 what is a leap year the year of 366 days is called a leap year simply you can write or you can also write the year of 366 days in the month of february it is how many days 29 days in place of 28 days so that year is called leap year it comes after 4 years now come to question number 4 what is an equinox which seasons are indicated by it in both the hemisphere so what is equinox you know northern and southern hemisphere receives some same amount of heat northern and southern hemisphere receives same amount of heat and have equal days and nights is called equinox that is 12 hours days and 12 hours night now which seasons are indicated by it in both the hemisphere so obviously equinox means equal days and nights so if in northern hemisphere it is autumn season then it is autumnal equinox and suppose in southern hemisphere it is spring season so it is vernal equinox so northern hemisphere has autumn season called autumnal equinox while the southern hemisphere has spring season then it is vernal equinox now come to the next question question number 5 why does the duration of day and night change in a year why duration of days and night change in a year so it occurs due to rotation of the earth the duration of days and nights changes due to rotation of the earth now come to the e part this is a long type question answer and the answer the following question so question number 1 is why are days and nights equal on 21st of march at all places on the earth explain so why are days and nights are equal on 21st of march as i have told you 21st of march it is what which season in our country in india it is which season can you tell me yes it is spring season so it is vernal equinox so here what is equinox you knows very well so come to the answer the sun rays are vertical over the equator on 21st of march and the duration of days and nights become equal in both the hemisphere that is 12 hours days and 12 hours night so both the hemisphere receive equal amount of heat clear that's why the days and nights are equal on 21st of march at all the places on the earth even in northern hemisphere and in southern hemisphere Now come to question number E two. Explain with the help of a diagram why seasons are reversed between northern and southern hemisphere. Here you have to draw the diagram. Then you have to explain 
why seasons are reverse between the northern and southern hemisphere so you have remembered about the solstice and equinox so simply because of the tilt of the earth it happens so because the because of this inclination northern hemisphere receives more heat from the sun while the southern hemisphere receives less heat energy from the sun so the northern and southern hemisphere always have opposite season if in the northern hemisphere it is summer then in the southern hemisphere it is winter season so this is because uh, summer and winter season this is because summer and winter season one part of planet earth is more directly exposed to the rays of the sun than the other so here you have to draw the picture also in this it is given on page number 32 revolution of the earth and the seasons you have to draw this picture to show the solstice and the equinox all the four seasons accordingly now come to the next question question number 3 e3 why does the month uh, why does the month of february have 29 days after every four years explain so as i told you earlier also it is due to the leap year so the earth completes one revolution in 365 days and about six hours so for our convenience we considered 365 days in a year only so the remaining six hours are added over a period of four years so after four years it becomes six four are 24 means 24 hours so till they becomes 24 hours or one day and this extra one day is added to the month of February. So every four years to make it a month of 29 days instead of 28 days. So it is clear why does the month of February has 29 days after every four years. So that extra six hours is added. Now come to E4. How do day and night occur on the earth? Explain with the help of trigram. So how do days and nights occur on the earth? Explain with the help of trigram. So I hope you all have remembered this trigram. I have given you one activity also. So take one torch and take one globe or any other material and uh, switch off the light of your room. And you have to uh, what uh, see that uh, the lighted part is the day's part and the other part opposite uh, part is uh, the night part so here we have to explain also so the earth faces the sun while rotating from west to east so each part of the earth facing the sun is illuminated by the light turn by turn so the light half the lighted half part of the earth that faces the sun has days while the other parts that not faces the sun that experiences as a night so this is the process okay of day and night on the earth you can also write in this answer that means what is dawn and dusk everything you can add up but uh, actually i am not making it too big too large so simply i have written only this much so the illuminated part is what by the sunlight turn by turn every time so the lighted part is the day and the other part is the night now come to the value based question of this chapter the planet earth while rotating is also revolving around the sun is an elliptical orbit in a year so here is two question listen first carefully the planet earth while rotating is also revolving around the sun in an elliptical orbit in a year so question number one what would happen if it stops moving what will happen if it stops moving we will have either days or nights now question number two why is it sorry why is this movement considered essential for our survival on the planet so the movement is, is considered essential for the survival of the planet otherwise the life becomes difficult so this movement is very important essential for our life for the survival of life because if it uh, this movement uh, stops then what will happen either one side is day and another side is night so we have to what we have to face so many problems so we have completed everything even the value based question answer also so you all have to